Hello stock traders, I hope all of you are having a fantastic morning and are ready to tackle this market. And in today's video, I am going to give you some quick levels to watch for on SPY. There's a lot of concern, a lot of people talking about how the bottom is just gonna fall out of this market, and how stocks can go just to zero. I kinda wanna talk about why I don't agree with that, at least at this particular time. And I'm also going to cover a cheap penny stock that has had multiple insider activity. And now I'm finally starting to pay attention to it, even though I've kind of ignored it to this point. But I want to talk about that stock. You will want to stay till the end of the video to hear what I have to say about it and how I'm tracking it and why I like it. And so let's get into it. But before I do, please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you have not done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I really appreciate all who watch on the video and those who comment in the comment section down below. Please reach out to me. I would love to hear from you. If you are interested in my selling points of my personal portfolio, I give those out for free. You just have to follow me on Twitter. And so you can find that in the link in the description down below if you're interested in stocks that I've entered, exited, any of the stocks that I've talked about in, the, in these videos, then you can know by just following there. I do have a Patreon group if you want to know my buy signals and why I'm buying and what I'm doing, my different alerts, and also you want access to our private Discord, which has professional traders in it then please check it out. We have a link in the description down below. We would love to see you there. All right, well, let's start talking about this S&P 500 and the different things that are kind of going on. So we have uh, this pullback that we're going through and then we have this very strong level of support on 406 to 408 that's down here. So it could come down here and hit here. Another really important level has been 413, 41250, right in there. You can see how the, it kind of held up today, but it broke just a little bit there at the end. So, you know, I think that it's a very, uh, very, it's a real possibility that we can come down to this 408 to 406 level, but I am expecting it to bounce here. This is a previous gap, and so we should see some support kind of pull in here. We also have this 48 EMA here, and we haven't crossed below that. So we're having a little bit of a pullback, but I expect that Jerome Powell, in his speech on Thursday, is probably just going to be more of the same, more of the same kind of things. It will calm investors down again, and we will see this move up again. So demand is definitely there within our economy, and things aren't quite as bad, in my opinion, as everyone seems to be, you know, as a lot of these videos on YouTube are saying. But anyway, I like it to bounce here, 408 to 406. Come on down here, and then for us to get a nice push up to that target at 435 up above. So that's something to watch. We have a new gap that's formed here. So lots of different stuff and different areas to kind of look for, and it should be a little bit of a better day. We've had two red days but I'm expecting it to turn around. I've been green on both those days because I'm following stocks that have strong insider activity and they tend to move much better than the market does. So outperforming the market with those. And if you're interested in those, then it's a great place. Uh, this channel is a great place to talk about those. All right, so let's talk about this stock, this cheap penny stock. And this is a really, really cheap one. Uh, this is BitNile, ticker symbol N-I-L-E. And Milton Alt continues to buy up shares. He's buying up shares every couple of days. And this has been going on for a long time. He obviously believes that that this is a great value. And so that constant insider activity has caused this, but this stock is so much determined because they mine Bitcoin. It is determined by the price of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin goes up, this is going to go up. And so this is one thing that you kind of have to keep in mind whenever you're trading a stock that is tied to a commodity, whether that be a Bitcoin or whether that be oil or whatever, you have to pay attention to the commodity that it's tied to. And so with Bit with BitNile, I like that I think that Bitcoin is going to be coming out of this and we are going to see, especially as we get closer to the merge, all of cryptocurrency should start to move upwards 
um, as we get closer and closer to that September 15th date, as long as it happens. If it doesn't happen, then I could see everything falling even more. But lately, Ethereum has been leading the market more than Bitcoin has been here as of late, just with all the news and everything going on with it. And uh, once the merge goes through, I am expecting the price of Ethereum to really, really move upwards and to, for uh, us to see a big spike because of the scarcity of that. So anyway, this is one I like. Lots of insider activity on it. And in After Hours on Tuesday and After Hours, Milton Alt was at it again. He paid $0.32 cents per share for 217000 worth. And so this is happening over and over again. He's an executive chairman, so every time he buys, he needs to report that. Um, 200 you know, $217,000 probably is not a lot to him, but this has been happening over and over and over again. So he obviously believes that this, he's just buying the dip on this constantly. He can't, probably can't believe that it's down to 30 cents. Absolutely crazy. And so in after hours, you know, after looking at that and in pre-market tomorrow, I will be purchasing uh, shares of this. I like this now. I think it's uh, it's at a point where it could really move. I like this gap that's up here, right? It's 57 cents. And then also taking a look at Bitcoin, you know, getting above this 20, uh, this 20 EMA that is right, this moving average 20 that's right here is a big deal for momentum. And you can kind of see it just kind of forming a nice little base here. I like how it's bounced off this 20,800 level multiple times, looking like a double bottom, like we finally found bottom and starting to move upwards. So anyway, that with the insider activity and that stock just being so cheap is the reason why I like it and that I'm bullish on that particular stock and I will be loading. So anyway, reach out to me in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you. I wish you all the best on the stock market. Please have a strategy for every stock that you buy. Don't just buy stocks just because or you think some news event will be way, way, way in the future. Unless you have a strategy that fits that, that is not a good idea in my opinion. And I always have a strategy for each and every stock, a reason why I get in and a reason and an exit point of where I plan to get out. I have certain rules. I'm a rules-based investor and I wish the best for you. And that is the way to make money in the stock market, in my opinion. Anyway, I will see you out there in Raytoven out.